What's up everybody and welcome back to Roderick's Life YouTube channel. Today we are going back to the previous video I had about removing the dash. A lot of you guys are asking me how to remove the glove compartment or the glove box compartment. Uh, it's okay. It's easy to take it off, but it's a pain in an ass. Like a big pain in the ass to take it off because of the way it's in there and the way everything just you know is in the way it, it's hard to get under there it really is and I really understand so I'm gonna go in a bigger detail of what to look for where the bolts are and actually what the bolts themselves look like so uh Let's get to it. Uh, the car's right there, and uh, let's jump in and uh, let me show you. So as you see, I do not have my glove compartment uh, put in yet. Uh, the reason being is I am thinking about either changing that, uh, that computer system or maybe reprogramming it. Um, for people that want to know what that is, that is technically the computer for your navigation system. Um, think of it as uh, a desktop computer at your house. You got the computer part, and then you got the uh, the screen part. So that screen doesn't technically do anything. That screen just works because of that computer. So this computer plays your sound this computer shows you navigation system this computer shows you everything but in order to show you it needs a screen so that big fat thing that that screen right there is actually just a regular screen just to show you and uh, just to control things from it like your uh, heated steering wheel your heated seats, uh, your climate control, which you can do right there too, but you can do it up there also. Um, things like that. I mean, all the settings stuff that you would do, it would show you up there. But there's one thing that is connected to that computer that is up there, and that is exactly why your navigation system works your radio works your cd player works if you have one like i do but 2013 models are the only ones that have a cd player everyone else doesn't so uh yeah that's the thing but like i said that makes your navigation system or navigation screen function so let's not get a little bit distracted here we are here for the glove compartment, first off, there is two bolts that actually hold this thing in place. Only two. As you see right there, this is one right there. And uh, the other one would be right there. The bolts themselves look like, let me see if I find them, these, okay? They are seven millimeter bolts. As you see, it's kind of a, uh, a flat surface and it's really got no writing on it. But I mean, it's just that what it is. Like I said, it's a seven millimeter, two of them actually. And uh, you would probably need a setup, something like this. Yeah you do because uh they are so far up there to actually show you what they would look like so the glove compartment goes in here this whole space right here is where the glove compartment would go now where those bolts will mount is right there this metal piece right here let me give you a better look at it that right there 
is where the bolt would screw on. As you see how far that is up through there and uh, one on that side. So basically that right there, not this, but this right here has got a hole in it where you would uh, screw that other screw in. So now the reason why it's so hard to get under there is because all of this wiring. Um, there's a big ass plastic thing that keeps the wiring away from uh, the glove compartment, but it does screw to the glove compartment. So you technically still need to unscrew it. And once you do, you just pull it all the way back, push it away. I know it is a pain in the ass, like I said, and I'm gonna say it a thousand times, it is a big ass pain to get in there. But if I could show you from the bottom of where the bolts are, I mean, it's hard to tell, but this right here, that's where it is. And if I slowly go back, you see right there, it's basically right behind the uh, the airbag system. And uh, I'll show you this side also. Uh, the hole is right here. And as you see, it's behind the airbag system. So that has to be moved back. That has two, like I said, it only holds on to two bolts. That's it. So how much screws are on the plastic thing that holds all these wiring, harness and uh, wires and everything to the glove compartment? Well, there's four screws. They are, let's see if I can see them. There's one and there's two right above it. There's three, and the fourth one is on this side. If you could see right there. There are some other holes around here, but like I said, the one to look for, one right there, one on the bottom, one right there, one right above it. So there you go. Also, if you look, at the glove compartment. This is exactly how it'd be set up. So as you see, it's curved down. It opens up like this. So when it opens up like this, that means it's uh, it's in the position that it would be installed in. So as you see, the one and two screws that I talked about, that are right above and below each other and then you got three right here and you got the fourth one on this side so there you go once you remove that plastic piece then uh, you just have to fight the uh, plastic piece and all that wiring to get to that bolt and that other bolt on the other side and uh, you uh, would be good to go on uh, removing the glove compartment. Do remember the electrical wiring. The glove compartment has got an electrical wiring here. I mean, if you don't want lights in there, then you don't have to worry about it. But you would probably prefer some lights in there and if you do for any sort of reason that is the wiring and the only way to get to it is uh you cannot get in from there but you are going to have to take your whole i'm sorry for the uh the whole lighting situation uh but you're gonna have to take the whole dash apart I mean, not the whole everything, but you will need to take your uh, navigation system or the screen off everything. Uh, it, it's a whole big unit. Leave the speedometer in there, but just this plastic piece with the screen and the, uh, the air conditioning uh, wind that comes out. Um, 
that is basically what you're gonna have to take out. And then once you do, you're going to, uh, again, pain in the ass, but you're gonna have to, uh, once you removed all this, you're gonna have to get in there with your hand and yes, you're not gonna see anything. Uh, you will, you will, but when you are having your hand in there and trying to do something, you're not gonna see anything. You just have to feel and that's where you'll just stick your hand in there all the way down literally your whole hand and uh disconnect or connect either way you will run into this electrical uh wiring here so as i said not an easy fix really hard to do um i'm trying to get here into detail as much as i can but there is a little bolt here on the bottom and a little bolt here on the bottom too but i guarantee you already know how uh you already know those bolts so you probably could see them right away but like i said these are not the only bolts you have to worry about those are pretty easy to f take out those are the ones you're going to be taking out and are like i showed you and i will show you again this is the bolt you're gonna have to take out so uh like i said it's uh seven millimeter and you're gonna have to have a long setup as i showed you this is what basically i had i had a short one and then a long one and i mean it's a good uh about eight inches long now um probably a 10 inch long but either way you're gonna have to have a long setup in order to get in there i'll show you uh how i get in there if i could set up this camera um hopefully to where you can see how i get in there and hopefully how i uh try anyways to take the uh glove compartment out well so as you see uh this is the setup you'd be getting into. That's what I found out was easier. I don't know uh, how your uh, way would be, how easy your way of doing this would be, but the easiest way for me and what I found was easy for me is to sit in your seat, move the seat all the way back, recline it all the way down, and... Uh, sit in here backwards literally and when you're doing this what you do is just slide in all the way as you see and uh this is how you can be working like you got your legs up in the air trying to do something and you're gonna have to have like i said you're gonna have to have your own uh, parts with you right then and there so make sure you have your screwdriver first thing um, your seven millimeter uh, socket with the extended uh, setup and you will probably need a quarter inch socket also because some places you're gonna have to grab uh, the uh, Phillips uh, screwdriver bit and stick it into a quarter inch socket and take bolts off that way because some places it's going to be just too far to get the bolt out or, or the screw out so like i said the extended uh setup would benefit you pretty well and that would be the only way to get under there um so that's uh how i sit in here or how i get into the position of uh, getting the glove compartment box out or in or installed into the vehicle so as you see I tried my best to uh, describe how to get in there what to use what kind of tool to use what to look for and uh, where where and uh, where to 
uh, find the screws and where they're uh, located in some way. I try to uh, put that in there. Hopefully you guys uh, understand from what point of view I'm coming from and how to get in there. Hopefully you try my techniques and it works. That would be awesome. And also stay tuned for more videos. I'm going to have a reveal of my vehicle running. Technically it is running right now, but I do not have a video up or don't have a filmed video anyways of it running, but it is running. I'll show you why I didn't have a lot of videos uploaded or have any videos uploaded for a little while and what was the reason and what happened and how I found the solution to the problem. Um, so thank you again for watching. Please subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, comment below, and I'll be back with more videos. You have a wonderful day. Peace out.